trying not to scowl. I be doing that shit. My eyebrows just be stuck in permanent mad face. That's the tune from Durham, North Carolina. Uh, I was born in Baltimore, but uh, yeah, I had some stuff happen where I had to move down here at a pretty young age or whatever. Uh, some family issues. But um, yeah, I've been working in music, like in the area since about 2011, 2012. I met Meta Oak uh, through Phil Cook from Megaphone. Megaphone is like a big indie rock band from around here. Uh, and Phil Cook, he had been fucking with me for a little while. He seen me perform at a couple benefit concerts that he was uh, like involved in. And Phil Cook literally on Twitter, he was like, yo, my man Nick, we used to play together. He moved into the area from Wisconsin. And I was like, oh, word. He was like, yeah, he got beats. I'm gonna hit y'all, I'm gonna introduce y'all. Number one, I had no idea that Nick was part of his super famous indie band, Sylvanessa or whatever. Uh, I wasn't even on that, on the whole like independent scene at that point. I was still kind of listening to radio rap a whole lot too. Um, but I, I had no idea about the phenomenon of Sylvanesso. I had no idea uh, that he was part of Megaphone before, that he had played with Bonavere and all this other stuff. Um, so he was already part of big projects and everything. But I, I just came into it like, yo, what's up? Let's get together. Let's chop it up on some beats or whatever. And it was, and, and that's that's just what it was for a while. I ain't sure like who original idea was, but we was at a music festival, uh, and uh, Endless Endless. That's a uh, Sarah and Adam, husband and wife, like video production duo. Uh, they they are the first ones that really said something to me like, yo, how you feel about the idea of a silent rap video? And I was like. Is that really a rap video if it's silent for not saying nothing? It's like, just just keep it in your mind. Like we had a short comment, it's like, just keep it in your mind. And uh, I was up at the show, uh, Made of Oak and Wells did a joint together. They performed together out of the joint. And Oak, he said, yo, I really got some stuff to holler at you about. Just know, silent rap video, just keep that in your mind. I'm like, I started thinking about it, I'm like, it could work out. It depends on what it's really saying though. So it kind of depended on like the beat and everything. And then Adam finally like sent me the beat and I was listening to it. I was like, started vibing to it. I was like, this shit weird as hell, man. How fucks was this shit? Um, he was like, yeah. And he called me, he was like, yeah, I want you and Wells on this joint. It's gonna be a silent rap video, like full performance or whatever. And I'm like, all right, I, like, I, like I can fuck with that. Um, let me get the writing on the beat. And I, I had no idea what I was doing right. Um, I wrote my verse. Me and Wells, we, we didn't even write our verses together. Like, first time we even heard our verses was on the first day of the shoot. Like, we had, we were shooting like a whole warehouse. They had like the whole warehouse renting out. Um, shout out to Dear Hearts, that's Donna and Stella. They styled the video. So it, it felt cool just having stylists, you know what I'm saying, for, for the first time on a video shoot. Um, but that's, that's what happened when you working with Made of Oak, you know? Like mainly, number one, I'm surprised because I ain't have no idea what was gonna come up when like, the word silent rap video, like, as far as I know, that's the first one in history. But uh, like we were really rapping, so we really was putting off those emotions that we wrote. Like and we was performing to our backtracks too, so we had our voice in our ear, you know what I'm saying, to perform to. So, like it was basically like we were on stage. So I feel like we, we we did a good job and they did a good job explaining to us like what type of emotion they wanted on camera. Um, like I said, like Adam and Sarah, they did a pretty good job making it known what, it, what they wanted to see. Like their directing was like pretty much impeccable and all we had to do was spit out bars and put the emotion that we put into the song onto the camera, you know. But the video, it, it came out crazy. Like the whole black and white, the shadows, like the lighting, because it's different when you're in it and you see it, but you can't see the stuff behind you going around. You can't see the scenery. You can't see the atmosphere forming, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
and, and especially for some of the lighting scenes, you can't see nothing because that shit bright as hell in your eyes. And so all you know is like, look at the camera and, and keep going. But basically like, I, I love it, man. Um, it's, it's one of the best projects I've been a part of like to date. Uh, the way it came out, I couldn't have guessed it coming out any better. Uh, I wish I would have spruced up my hair a little bit more in the camera or whatever, but that's whatever. My hair got a life of its own and everything. I think I'm going to make like a whole nother rap album. Rapping is just my hair. <laughs> It'll be, <laughs> but, uh, but that's a whole nother story. But yeah, man, it, it was dope though. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't like to fuck with sucker niggas.